Well, there it is. Looks like I've got Dreadlord. Oh, what the hell? Ah, it's not quite as laggy as I first thought it might be. I was a little bit, oh no, it's not laggy, is it? No, it isn't. It's just standard Warcraft 3 battle net reaction times. I'm kind of used to, used to the bot now. So, yeah, that's a little harsh, but it's alright. I'll manage. Okay. Let's see if I can sneak an Ancient of War here and not piss off the creeps. That'll be nice. Will I get away with it? Won't I? It looks like I might just get away with it. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. Me mash shims, eh? Well, let's hope we can survive to that late. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of night elves. That is a lot of night elves. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's a night elf. Hmm. I'm a little skeptical of this, but uh, we'll see. Alright. Okay. Well, Fandle Hearts says... Go fast, free heroes, and waste all your gold in three times six items. Feel free to teleport staff them to your attacked allies or not. Just pick a map with a shop and push them with claws, strength, agility, circlets, etc. After you got them full, you can go any units you wish. Well, maybe I'll do that. I got my altar early, and that's kind of more of a habit thing, but I, I'm definitely not going to be going uh, down that road. I'm going to be getting a neutral hero. All neutral heroes. I just haven't quite picked which ones yet. Actually, I think I know the first one, a good pick for my first neutral hero would be Panda, because he's just a beast, and then I can pretty much be flexible with what I pick after that. You kind of, you do want to start off with a tanky style hero if you can because um, it helps later on, because he's the guy that's going to get all the experience and uh, get more and more stats, more health, and he'll be able to tank, and that way your lesser, weaker other heroes further on down the line will be able to hang behind him. Oh no, create more moon wells. Okay. I see. I should have made more moon wells. I see how it is. Yeah... Oh, it's kicking off. Doesn't really matter too much what ability I go. Would like to kill this guy pretty quickly. See if I can get him down before another heal. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Be a good idea to focus on... Um... Ah, Panda can take this for the moment whilst he's taking his time. Then I'll come back here. But I want that expansion going. You don't really take too much damage here. That's pretty good, actually. So we're starting off with the panda archers. And it's all about pretty much beefing up the heroes, this strategy. So that's what I'm going to want to aim for. It's just getting the strongest heroes imaginable. Which I do like these strategies. Because essentially that's what um, Warcraft 3 is about. Especially RT, in a sense. Because uh, it's... <sighs> They're so... I don't want to say... Well, they are pretty overpowered. Heroes are overpowered. There you go, I said it. Heroes are overpowered, so it's not a bad investment if you choose to basically spend almost all your resources on heroes and virtually no units, providing you know how to use said heroes and said units that you do produce in the end. Units are useful, but heroes are better. So, if anything, you want to get kind of supportish style units. Come on. Yeah, that'll do it. Takes a while to pick them off, but that's not too bad. That's done now. You can come over here. I'll get a little bit of defense there. Try to make that a bit harder for them to kill if they should try to go for that expansion, because I don't want to lose it, really. I like to keep that expansion if I can. Boom! I'm probably not going to bother with Drunken Haze at the moment, it's just too much mana. I'd rather just throw down Breath of Fire to start off with, and then throw in um, Drunken Haze probably once Breath of Fire is up to level 2. Take him out. So that's all going through. I can start getting archers for time being, but 
Like I say, expansion, tech, ASAP. That way I can move on to a second hero and uh, tech once again straight after that. Lovely moon wells here for me to soak up. And Panda will be able to get quite a chunk of his mana back from Clarity Pots. And Archers are dirt cheap. There are mercs on this map, and I'm considering them, but they're in hard spots. So I'm going to need quite a number of Archers to sort of pull them back and bring them down ASAP. With hopefully minimal effort. Could probably hold on to those items, but I'm a bit obsessive with selling my stuff. I likes to sell my stuff. Definitely gonna get a bit of defense for that. Looks like Blue's got the same idea. It's a very quiet game thus far. Archer's still coming out. Tech halfway through. I have got a Hunter's Hall. They're all Night Elves, so he wants to go Shims, and Shims would be a good choice for someone that's going focus on heroes, because it gives you that extra DPS to go with your already powerful heroes. So, hmm, not sure. Maybe Hippo Riders is also a very flexible thing. So I'm actually going to go for Hippo Riders. So I'll focus on the Archer damage and try to keep those Hippo Riders in Hippo Rider form, because once they come out, then they're back into um, the other type of... Da attack damage and armor, which means that it's not so good because you have to basically upgrade everything. Bring down this big guy ASAP, and then I should be okay for the rest. Don't know how quickly that pan is going to go down. Pretty quick. Bring down the melee, and that way uh, the archers can tank the rest of this. Yeah, it's all going very smoothly. I'm going to tech pretty much straight away. I'm going to move back to my base, although I could get a Shredder. Who can say no to a Shredder, eh? I'm going to have to get a Shredder. I'll bring up a couple more Wisps, waste them. It's not even easy to creep this, but thankfully Red is here. We'll give this a go. Please, I, I want to get in there. Come on, Red, let's do this. Are they going to mana burn him? Let's find out. Let's just use all my mana anyway. Good. This is nice. Oh, belt of giant strength. And he nicked the belt. And let's see what I can get second hero wise. I'm thinking more range. Let's get um, Beastmaster. No, no. Can't do it just yet. I need that wood. Oh, he didn't give me the bloody belt. Oh, he's giving it to me now. Or is he? <laughs> there we go. I've got it in the end. Ugh. I suppose I can give him the shoes. Seems like a fair trade. I can get I can get um, shoes again. But the belt's really important for the panda because, like you say, you want to beef up these uh, heroes, give them very strong items, and uh, that's one of them. Come on, Shredder, get back to base. So I can start getting that wood flowing in. Because at the moment I'm suffering a little bit for... More lumber still. Still. Let's move up to the red spot. I might even just buy him a freaking healing potion. Just to get him a bit higher on health. More comfortable. More lumber is required. Come on, where are you? Gotta be there now. It's taking its time. I don't want to have to build any more wisps when I know what I'm doing with the shredder. Here we go. Boom. Beastmaster's ready to go. Let's pull these back. Tech's almost complete already, so I can actually get a third hero. So I'm going to get a ranged one. Nice Naga Sea Bitch, probably. Oh, yellow's spoiling it and just jumping straight in there. Although it does kind of work because I pulled him back and then he can run in and take out the big level 6 guy and take the item. So that works quite nicely. Ah, uh, they're not too good items anyway. I'm not too worried about those. Although Red managed to jump straight in there and pick up the item. Did you see that? Brilliant. Okay. So we've got a lot of archer focus here. And soon... Oh, what the hell are you doing? Sit over there. Let's start 
messing up the uh, ancients of wind. I'll give the Naga Sea Bitch the boots and probably an invulnerability part. Because it's always useful. We're probably going to have to venture into enemy territory now because it looks like it's getting quite quiet in terms of what's to creep. There is nothing to creep left. I've got my triple heroes. Speaking of triple, Ancients of Wind. Let's see if I can get someone to pick on. Ooh, this could be good. Depends how many towers he's got up. Oh, he's just started. But he should have... Oh no, is he just building that with one peon? Uh, I was hoping he'd have a few more. Two armies here, so yeah, I'm clearly going to have to back off. Not going to have much of a presence there. Let's get the armor upgrades for these archers. Keep pulling them back. Get Death Coiled in the back by Death Knight. Get a couple more Ancients of War. There we go. Death Knight's going to do what Death Knight does. I'd love to give you wood, but I ain't really got it. Uh, it's a shame there isn't a bit more to creep on this map because we're at a bit of a stalemate position. And I've got these heroes, but I need to power them up. and <laughs> They're all like level 2 and 1, so I'm going to have to win some fights here or something. And I'm not going to win a fight 1 versus 2. Right, start massing that them there hippos. As you can see, the wood is a big issue here, but eventually, everything will match up in terms of gold to wood ratio where I can start massing. No, he's just camping, and he would be camping. I don't blame him for camping. There's not much benefit, to be honest, in trying to attack here because this army is just going to get torn to pieces. It's Night Elf, what are you going to do? Looks like they're going hippos, so I'm probably going to want more hippos than I have archers. So it could just be a super amount of hippos instead of actually any units in terms of uh, DPS whatsoever. We'll see how things flow. Could try and attack on a base and then TP out and see if I can pick off any um, units, because essentially that's all I'm trying to look to do here, is try to find some sort of way to get some experience. And unfortunately, that is an undead base. Undead bases aren't very generous in giving experience. Red's going to bring their attention over here. Ooh, yep, air. So, going to be a real huge influx of uh, hippos instead of um, archers for me. Night off here, not terrible. I'd prefer a human or an orc, though. Let's soak up that moon well. Jeez. So I'm attacking this base, and this base on this map tends to be the most vulnerable base of them all. Just dying, for God's sake. Oh, mass shims. It looks like hippos will be a very, very smart investment here. Just pure hippos. Looks like I might swap my uh, upgrades towards um, the hippos rather than hippo riders. Uh, this base is a bit tricky to get inside of there without getting whacked so much. I, oh, there we go. I'll see if I have to TP out here, but almost definitely. Yeah, probably. Yes, because of Frostworm. Just avoided the death coil, the inevitable death coil. More and more hippos coming. This will boost my heroes up very nicely, though. And speaking of which, let's get some more items. An allied champion is falling. We can go back to the shop over here as well. A quiet game still. The main thing is that no one loses too many units. And I'm a bit worried about Blue. He lost his hero and has he lost his entire army? I don't know. Looks like more shims. Everyone freaking loves shims. So someone's going to have to be the guy that goes hippos, aka myself. It's like going to tanks. And uh, believe me, yeah, you've seen tanks before. You know how they work. They're pretty damn effective. Cool. There's a lot of hippos. 
Another right, another invulnerability pot for someone. Beast Master, do you want it? You can have it. And someone wants a boost of speed. Panda also needs the. Uh, everyone's got teleports, but I like to have a teleport on each hero just in case things go drastically wrong. Sorry, mate, I've picked up all the items. It's all mine. It's a bit of a stalemate situation, so it's not too flexible in terms of how much aggression I can put onto the enemy. However, this if Red was a bit smart with his shims here, he'd be in a better position, but Orange might give us some flexibility. I'm going to bring my Hippocris close, but not too close. Oh dear, now Pink's coming in, that's unfortunate. Okay, Hippo should be in shortly. Go, that's the timing, that's the timing, get in there Hippos. Let's slow down those fiends. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hippos are getting in there deep. He's putting quite a lot of focus onto my Beastmaster, I noticed that. Just as well, I've got anti-magic potion with him. And those hippos did quite a good job. And Orange is going to lose pretty much everything, but he's got a pretty powerful hero. Keep on top of that. Get ready. Naga Sea Bitch should be ready. To strike him down. <laughs> Where are you go? He's hoping to run the other way. Yellow, you just stopped. We've got a block on him. Wow, that is a long defined shield. That is a long defined shield. He's actually going to get away because he just lasted that long. I've given up. More hippogriffs. Shims are coming in. They're the siege. Air siege as well. Pretty crazy. Oh, those shims are... I mean, those fiends are just going to get torn to pieces. Is <laughs> the invulnerability part on that? Let's see what they've got. They got gyros or something like that. Come on, let's get that dreadlord down. He's about to run out any second now, unless that's the long one. It might be the long one. Why does everyone have the super longest freaking divine shields possible? Look at that. He's actually going to pick up an item probably. Come on, man! You are freaking stubborn. And there we go. He kept me going that long that he could actually heal him up. Unfortunately, Panda, in trouble here. Panda, still in trouble. I wonder if my shims got to kill what they needed to kill. They went all the way over there, so I can only assume they did. Still got all my heroes alive. More hippos come in, more upgrades. And all those moon wells just waiting for me to soak them up. More orbs. More of that. More magic immunity. Ugh, these items. I don't even think I want the star for teleport in this kind of situation. It just doesn't prove to be too useful for myself. And now every hero's got one of those. That's good. One of them's left now. Gyros are starting to come out, but I think it's a bit too late. Unless he can re he's got like, you know, eight well not eight, but four or so workshops just pretty much plowing into gyros. He's gonna have a tough game. Cause uh, I've still got a decent chunk of hippos. Hip hip hippos. Yeah, everyone's pretty kitted up, all of these heroes. Not bad. Not so much on like passive items, but at least selective items, so I've had a, an opportunity to pick and choose. I'm good to go again. Very good to go. Almost two groups of hippos. You know that pink is probably still massing uh, frostworms, which isn't necessarily such a bad choice, despite the amount of anti-air I'm focusing on, because it's just the case. You just gotta go those frostworms, baby. Oh dear, this is bad for you. <laughs> Hello. 
give me some experience. Thank you very much. Very kind, Mr. Troll. Are you a little bit preoccupied over here? Is that what it is? Ooh, I've got more anti-air than you. I'm gonna come that way. You got a fair bit, but not quite as much as me. So let's have some... Oh! Let's get a slow on those frost worms as well. Brilliant! Let's go! Shit. The damage coming through is insane. Run the heroes back, let the hippos do the work. Run the heroes back and let the hippos do the work. God damn. <laughs> you can hear the hippos still going to town. Yeah, almost got them all. Now these heroes are really coming through. Look at that. Look at that. Jeez, all my heroes are really vulnerable right now. What's going on over there? Oh, that's yellow having fun. You can use that move well and then all team up again. So it looks like Hippos was all I needed really here. Because the enemy were generous enough to just go stupidly heavy on um, air. So level 5 Panda, almost level 6. Level 4 Beast Master and a half. Level 3 Naga Sea Bitch. Almost at the point where she can say, yeah, look at me. I'm level 5, but not quite yet. Let's get her an invulnerability pot. Those invulnerability pots are insane. So the closest thing I've got for it at the moment for these guys is essentially anti-magic pots. Probably going to be more useful for me than um, healing pots. Just due to the amount of shimmage. But to be honest, I've pretty much killed everything they've got in terms of air. So really not too much of a threat now. Just got to go up, see what's left and seal the deal. ATA... 80 out of 80 food, more and more hippos to come. Oh, got some action here. Hello there, Mr. AFK, freaking Keeper of the Grove. Ah, thank you for the level 4. Huh. And one hippo as well. Time for some more moonwells, I guess. Yeah, there's only a couple left. Let's see what Pink's got for himself. You got a, you got another Frostworm or two for me, Pink? Yeah? Got one of those? I'll have one of those. Let's get on that DK. Level 6 Panda. May as well just use his ult to be cool. But it's actually very hard to control his ult because I've got no hotkeys for it. So I'd actually have to manually change those hotkeys to that. Change that back to one, and then that kind of messes him up when he comes out of it. Level three quill beasts. Yikes. So all you really need is mass hippos. This is why night elf can be strong. Not normally, not for night elves, but you know, night elf itself can be strong in four versus four RT. It's generally regarded as uh, one of the worst races, and quite rightfully so, except. For if you're in position where enemies just love to go mass air, which they do in 4 versus 4 RT. So Hippogriffs are one of the best anti-air units in the game. And uh, you can pretty much get away with just making those only. I didn't have to make any serious units, any units that were like, you know, required micro or effort. It was simply very strong anti-air units that fly and all I have to do with them is attack move. Pretty good when people keep throwing you uh, shims, hippos and uh, frostworms. Not bad at all. We've got a 6, 5, and a 4. So I think that came through in the end. Pretty good. All right. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. See you later. I used to be a troll rag. Troll, 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 troll. I ain't got time. I was in the top of your, you know, method. Method, 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 method. Method.